Here is another artery. It's a large artery. It may not be an elastic artery. It may be simply a large muscular distribution artery. And please notice that on the luminal side, once again, you have a lot of uh, foamy cells. Also notice that uh, there are areas within the wall of this artery, like there and there and there, that are very intensely blue. Whenever you get something like this, uh, often it does not cut very nicely and it crackles because this is the classical uh, appearance of uh, calcium within tissue. And in this case, the calcium has uh, occurred as part of a long-standing degenerative process uh, called dystrophic calcification rather than due to the fact that there was uh, increased uh, calcium in the person's uh, blood, which, would, is the, which is called metastatic calcification. Please note that some of these calcified areas are very, very subtle and very, very small. This one uh, would probably not be palpable. This one could very well be. So this is atherosclerosis. This is a plaque of atherosclerosis. And please note, in contrast to that last aorta that we saw, that just had very uh, subtly uh, discolored uh, yellow streaky areas, a plaque is palpable. And you could actually feel the bumpiness on the lumen here and uh, you could actually feel the areas of calcification. This is a moderately plaqued uh, atherosclerotic aorta. It's not the worst one in the world. Here's a normal area. An area like this might well represent just fatty streaks but these little bumpy and if you felt them calcified areas are actual atherosclerotic plaques. Thank you very much.